Hello, and in today's video, we're diving into one of the most important concepts in drone mapping, which is overlaps. What are they? Why do they matter? And how should you adjust them for uneven terrain? First, what are overlaps? Overlaps refer to the percentage of overlap between consecutive photos your drone captures while mapping. There are two main types, front overlap, which is the overlap between photos taken along the flight path, and side overlap, which is the overlap between the flight lines. Depending on your need, overlaps are usually in the 75 to 85% range. So why are overlaps so important in mapping? Overlaps are crucial for several reasons. First, they help the software match points between images, which is essential for creating accurate maps and models. Second, they improve the accuracy of your outputs by minimizing the gaps or distortion in areas with complex features like forests or urban environments. Without proper overlaps, you risk missing key details or creating maps with errors, definitely something you want to avoid. But what happens if the area you're mapping isn't flat? Uneven terrain can throw off your overlaps because the height difference affects the drone's camera perspective, as we learned in the ground sample distance video. Also, when mapping things like a roof, the target distance and the ground distance are not the same. These differences can throw off overlaps considerably. Areas at higher elevations might have less overlap than you intended, and areas at lower elevations might have too much. So what can you do about that? To adjust for this, you have two options. The first option is to fly at a consistent relative altitude. If the ground is just uneven, then using terrain follow can keep your drone at a constant height above the ground level, maintaining consistent overlaps. The second option is to increase your overlaps. The best way to do that is to tell your software how far away the target is, and most good mapping software has the ability to do this. The exact method will depend on the software that you're using. For this demonstration, I'll use the Pilot 2 app. If we pull up Pilot 2 on the controller, scroll all the way down, and then expand the section that says Advanced Settings, you'll see something that says Target Surface to Takeoff Point. Here is where you can tell the system the difference between the ground and the target. So if, for example, you're mapping a roof that is 50 feet high, then you would enter 50 feet here. Since Pilot 2 really likes to work using GSD, it will automatically adjust the flight altitude to keep the GSD the same. If that's what you want, then there's nothing else to do. But if you have a specific flight altitude in mind, as is often the case with some providers, then you will need to adjust the flight altitude now. When you do that, you'll see the pattern change to keep the overlaps that were set. And in many cases, the flight speed will be reduced to reduce the chances of motion blur. Now you have the correct pattern for the height of the target and not the ground. This is super important as I've seen complaints from pilots who did not make this adjustment and their work was rejected for not having the correct overlaps. And that's all there is to it really. One pro tip if mapping roofs. Often the client will ask you to extend the map beyond the edge of the roof to make sure that everything is captured. Some software, like Pilot 2, will focus the camera once at the start of the mission and then switch to manual focus to keep the focus locked. This can mean that if it focuses on the ground, then the roof is out of focus. If this is the case, then make sure to switch the focus mode to AFC or AFS. That should reset the focus once you're on the roof, and then you can switch back to the manual focus to make sure that you don't miss any shots. The other way to do this is to leave it in manual focus, but then make sure that the focus control is set to infinity. Anyway, that's it for another video. I hope you found that useful. If you did, please give it a like. Feel free to leave any comments or questions. I'll see you in the next video.